even though it's been many, many, many years, sometimes when you just take that bite and you, you're like, oh my God, I remember, I remember that. <laughs> no, I don't think you could be sad eating a popcorn ball. I'm Joanne Lynch. I'm one of the owners. I'm Mike Prokop, one of the owners of Humphrey Popcorn. I'm Susan Prokop, and I do the marketing for Humphrey Popcorn. It's dated way back into the 1900s. This particular popcorn was created by Dudley Humphrey. Dudley decided, I'm going to set up my own popcorn stand. And he did it with a horse and a cart. And he went around to the parks. And the popcorn stand was at the front of Euclid Beach Park. They had to make a special machine to make the balls. It's still the same kind of machine that's used today. The way the, the automation has changed, we can make them faster, uh, but the recipe is exactly the same as it has always been. We didn't change a thing. It is a mixture of sugar, lots and lots of sugar, sunflower oil, a tiny bit of salt, and there is a special vinegar that goes in. I'm not gonna tell you what kind of vinegar. So it's heated up to a certain temperature and then it's poured into um, a hopper and then from the hopper it's hand scooped through a machine and it falls into a mold and then there's a press that pushes down on the mold that forms the balls and then they're put on a wrapping table and then it goes through the wrapper. We have a film, pre-printed film, and the film is automatically cut and sealed. It's fun to come in and uh, especially like when you get an opportunity with customers to come in, especially some of the ones that remember the old park, remember the products relive some of those memories here, and then plus their children and things that maybe had experienced Euclid Beach at the time, uh, I think it can bring back some of those memories for everybody. So we're trying to bring, you know, the past and the future together. I think part of being part of uh, coming back into the community, the, the closeness to Euclid Beach, it's just a, uh, just a solid foundation, I think, you know, bringing it back into the community. The Humphreys themselves kept it alive before they sold it to us and we just want to keep carrying it out. Cleveland has done so much to bring back the life that it had and to still keep it in a hometown type flavor. And that's what our hope is with, with this store.